secret I'm gonna reveal for this week's tried and true tip is one I think that every single teacher could find a use for. The thing I'm going to reveal to you will help all of you. I hope you're excited. The surprise is magic sprays. I know what you're thinking. She tricked us, but let me explain. So, what I use are these little spray bottles. Um, they're tiny, kids like things when they're small. And I put a label on them. This one says friend spray. And I put some clip art that just shows good friends. This one says calm spray, very effective. And it has a picture of someone doing yoga. This one says smart spray, and this one can be used almost for anything. It has a picture of a kid that is having a light bulb moment. So what I do is I fill these almost all the way with water, and then I put a few drops of perfume. And when I see a kid struggling with one of these issues, I'll tell them, uh-oh, Looks like you might need some friend spray. I noticed that you were just pushing your friend. Let's go get a squirt and try it again. It's something special and it's something magical and it's something that's really gonna help us to work on whatever the skill is. And I'll introduce them one at a time. So at the beginning of the year, I might just have the friend spray as we're doing different centers and getting to know our friends. And then later on, I'll start to introduce more as I see the need. And you can create a spray for anything. When you can take a choice that a student makes and help them learn from it, you're doing the most important part of your job. We are here to teach these kids to try to turn them into civil little humans. These magic sprays are a fun tool that I use to turn everyday occurrences into teachable moments. So I catch a kid making a choice, whatever it might be, and I can stop them and say, hold on, let's try that again. Let's get some of our magic spray and do it differently. And for some reason, with the magic spray there to take the focus off of them, they, they accept it and they, they say, okay. Let's, let's try it again. We've all made the mistake of asking a kid, why did you do that? They say, I don't know, or they just shrug, or sometimes they start to cry. But it's very rarely that they're able to say, I pushed that person because they were too close to me and I didn't know what else to do. I got upset that she took my toy, so I snatched it before I could come up with some kind words to rationally appease the situation. You know, they, can't come up with those words. So jumping in and saying, hey, let's go get some friend spray and try that again, helps them to start with a clean slate. When they shut down, you lose all chances of having them walk away with the moral of the story. They aren't even hearing anything beyond, I'm in trouble or I did it wrong, I'm not good. That's, that's all they can focus on. But when they have a spray of magic potion, they not only open their eyes and their ears to the message that you're sending, but they open their hearts. That's like the cheesiest thing I've ever said. But they open their hearts. That's true. I got these three spray bottles on Amazon for $7.88. You definitely want to make sure that you check 
that your spray bottle will be doing just the light mist like this one. This is the one I use for nap time. A nice light mist. If you're using one like this with an adjustable nozzle, um, you'll have to make sure that you don't have it on that sharp like laser spray. That would be so bad. Make sure that you check the settings of the sprayer before you spray a kid in the face. Just to be safe, I, I even, I don't point it at them. I, I point it in front of them and have them lean into it, lean into it. I don't know if it's actually magic or what, but it works.